Hey, sure! You could have been anywhere on YouTube just for a second. But you're here with me and I appreciate you for that. Team Boogie, what's good? We're back with another content breakdown, guys. Y'all said y'all liked the last one, so I'm gonna go ahead and bang you in the head with another one, you know? Hopefully you appreciate it just like y'all did the last. Today we have Zero Chill, otherwise known as the Christmas promo. We got packs, new, new presents, a lot of nice little cards and whatnot. A few different bows that you can put anywhere on your team. It is looking crazy, guys. We're going to break down in a series of videos, step by step. But this one right here is the content breakdown of establishing what the content is. So let's jump in. As long as well as new legends, we have Bruce Smith and we got uh, Marvin Harrison. That Marvin Harrison, pretty good wide receiver. I like that route running. Bruce Smith, beast. Beast, just 90, just pop off the board. He should be able to get off blocks easy and get to that quarterback. But without further ado, let's jump into what the zero chill promo is about. Uh, you look at the oops section. We already know it's going to be oops. But zero chill, the focus of zero chill is accomplished to get this Bo Jackson. Now, when you complete this Bo Jackson, you not only get one Bo Jackson, two Bo Jacksons, no, you get three Bo Jacksons. So you get your choice of any offensive Bo Jackson anywhere in your fucking team. You get your choice of a defensive Bo Jackson, and they all have various stats and very where they where they play better depending on what, what card it is. Like a, a cornerback uh, Bo Jackson is going to have better coverage stats. You know? You get it. Running back Bo Jackson is knocking people the hell over. Um, jumping into this, you break down each particular oop boss what they call halfback cornerback mike vick quarterback my middle linebacker ladania tomlinson tight end right outside linebacker jason taylor halfback strong safety Derek brooks right guard dt christian okoyo as you see okoye as you see i already have him um left guard right guard i mean left guard right end mike singletary players fuck up you know how it is Wide receiver, cornerback, Paul Krause. Fullback, left end, Jerome Bettis. Tight end, free safety, Dwight Clark. Wide receiver, and left outside linebacker, Steve Atwater. You click on the cards, you can see. I'm going to do a quick breakdown of which ones I would pick. Which ones I'm going to pick. You understand? I'm going for left outside linebacker, Steve Atwater. Don't need a wide receiver. I already got a bunch of nets. I don't need a wide receiver, um, Steve Atwater, because he's not going to get no PT. He ain't getting no PT. And the, and, the, and the chance that I want to have him drop in coverage at the left outside linebacker position, how I look at it, I have another DB on the field. You know what I'm saying? So in coverage stats, if I'm sending wherever I'm sending, the opposite dude who's in coverage is going to be Steve Atwater on the field. That's, that's, where, that's my thought process. 92 hit power, love that. So if he hits somebody, he's going to pack a boom. Dwight Clark. Love tight end Dwight Clark. Strong safety Dwight Clark, or free safety Dwight Clark is buns. Don't need that. Tight, uh, tight end Dwight Clark, though, is another wide receiver on that field. Look at the route running, catching traffic, the catch, release, spec catch with 87 speed. He also has 79 uh, run block, right? So I look at that as most wide receivers aren't having 79 run block. You could put this tight end, drop him into a wide receiver drink. You know what I mean? Have him play wide receiver, and he can give you that umph, that, that yeah. He can go ahead and grab somebody and hold on to him, lock a dude down. If you have um, Pouncey, his run block is now 81. Cool. You know what I mean? There, a lot of people are going to sleep on this, this uh, Dwight Clark, as you see with the price. A lot of people are going to sleep on Dwight Clark. I love, I love that tight end Dwight Clark. Bruh, y'all know how I felt about Jerome Bettis. If you watch the stream, you know how I felt about dedicated wham. You know how I felt about Jerome Bettis. Jerome Bettis cannot be brought down by one man. It doesn't happen. You could try to use her. If, if I'm running and you try to use her come at me, I'm trucking you. You better have secure tackler. If your dude don't have secure, secure tackler, you're on your back looking at the heavens. I'm going to right over you. Jerome Bettis fullback is going to be nuts. Not only can you put this dude at tight end, you can keep him at fullback, 
but he can also play halfback. So it's pretty much legend Jerome Bettis just sitting there in a the fullback waiting for you to fucking utilize him. Amazing card for amazing value. 79K is a steal for that card. Crazy. Price is going to drop even more because people are doing more of them. Paul Krause. Everybody knows Paul Krause. He's known for catching things. You know, he's known for catching things and free safety, and he doesn't let a ball go. I, again, I don't need a wide receiver, Paul Krause. Don't need him. He happens to have the zone threshold, so he has that 91 zone, but he has that 90, 92 catch. If I had to, I'm going with that Paul Krause with the cornerback. I'm not worried about no wide receiver, Paul Krause. It's just going to be a waste. I could probably find somewhere to use this Paul Krause, whether it's, um, I could use him probably, and man up three deep. If anybody's trying to throw a bomb, Paul Krause has that middle safety, he's catching whatever, you know? I don't have to worry about him. 91 zone, bang. Or, or have him as another uh, corner. But I, ha I have dope corners. Not really worried. But if you don't have dope corners, you have Paul Krause. Mad cheap. 91 zone. Can't beat that. He beats the threshold. He's going to play amazing. He's going to hold on to things. This is where it gets tricky. Mike Singletary. I don't want... I don't want left guard Mike Singletary. Right? I know he has the the 90 run block, and with the meta right now, everybody's running. Everybody's running. You're just pounding it down your, your opponent's throat. So everybody's running, so that's good. The pass block, I'm not too worried about it because he has the secure passer, which means he's going to hold initially and then maybe get beat on a block shed or whatnot. But that secure passer makes it so that the defender doesn't get an instant shed, doesn't get an instant win. Now, this right end with the plus two read and react looks like a go-to looks like a go-to 91 block shed 90 but then again it's not really like jumping off the screen he's gonna get caught if he gets combo blocked at all 82 power move isn't gonna let him beat a combo block you know he got strength he got that 89 strength he got that block shed you know he can he can eventually break a, 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 a block he can go ahead and shed that and he got 82 speed he got some speed on him so I don't know. I might I might go back. I might go back. Looking at this, I don't know if I want right end Singletary. He might be good for the read and react, but then the read and react is on both sides. I don't know. This is a toss-up. This is a toss-up. Like I said, this way it gets hard. Either one, it's like I may not use either one of them. Left guard, hmm. Is he better than is he better than the Twitch Prime left guard that I got? He's not better than Bruce Matthews. Oh, the run block is dip. Oh no, that's that's uh Cal Long. My bad. Play as fuck up again. Bruce Matthews just kills him. See, I don't know. I can't use that. Maybe I might have to go right right in. I might have to go right in because I do plan on doing a set for Bo. This Bo is crazy. I can't show Chris Nikoye right now because it will make me add him to the set. Let's go to Derek Brooks, which I think is useless. I think these Derek Brooks, the only one like you can't get a running back Derek Brooks, right? Null and void. That Derrick Brooks is trash. Um, not worried about him. None of these stats look overwhelming. It is what it is. The safe, the strong safety one is the one you have to go with. But are you really going to ever use him? He's more of a... I could get an extra linebacker. Pull the safety down. Get an extra linebacker to try to stuff, stuff the run. If people are run heavy. Or uh, a special teams guy. So, I don't know. He's never really going to drop into coverage for you. You know, if he does, he's just going to look at the ball. The ball's going to go past him. So, Derek Brooks, not really impressed with both of his cards. Uh, Jason Taylor, I want this card. I want this card. I want this card. I want this. I want this. I want this right outside linebacker. Again, you got the read and react. You got the secure tackler. And how I play, my... Right outside linebacker is coming in, you know. So if I'm sitting my right outside linebacker, 85 speed, nice. 89 block shed, nice. Uh, 89 play rec, nice. 94 finesse move. That means if anybody get their paws on him, ah, get off me. You know what I'm saying? Ah, he's getting them up off him. He's gonna he's gonna get them off of him. Hit him with the light, nice little ha, ah, a little uh swim move, and then he's on his way to the quarterback. This card 
is definitely going to be a good card. This is going to be a good card to have, to have in your arsenal, to have in your depth chart, so that you can pull it out when you need to, when you need to utilize it. What else do we have? We have LaDainian Tomlinson. Now, I wasn't sold initially on the LT because I was thinking Bo Jackson quarterback and shit. But looking back at how you could use... Offensive, defensive bow, and a, a kicker, a kicker, a punter bow. I think I wouldn't use middle linebacker LT, right? Because I'm not really impressed. Five ten, no hit power. Uh, I might get middle linebacker bow. I'm letting you guys know. I'm you getting a little tip in my hand. Middle linebacker bow is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. But I might get freaking um quarterback. If y'all know, salute to Jay. <laughs> halfback, not halfback draw. QB draw is glitchy. QB draw is glitchy this year. And to have LT where I can sub him in, never stumble, you know what I'm saying? Like 91 speed. Let's look at his uh, carry. 75 strength and 90 carry. He would be a stud for QB draw. And, and, and this is... Y'all look at me and y'all probably like, yo, like, why are you talking about one play? That one play, like, like you should always have shit up your uh, sleeve to keep your opponent off guard. So when LT comes in and, and it's QB draw, it's pretty much like um, like Wildcat without even having it in the Wildcat. Then if I want to throw it with him, he should have decent stats the way he can get something off. Let's go look at his uh, throwing stats. He has, where are they at down here? Did I pass them? They may have been up top. No, here they go. 90 throwing short. This is key because I'm not throwing bombs. You shouldn't be throwing bombs with LT. So that means LT with 90 throwing short is able to get stuff in between 0 to 20 yards. 0 to 20 yards should be automatic for him. 90. He has 90 throw throwing. Then you have 81 mid. That's 20 to 40 yards and 75, which is 40 beyond. I'm not really throwing deep. Throw on the run would be ideal, so you would want to make sure you're in mo movement as you're throwing short. Um, great card, great card to have. I think I'm going with QB LT after thinking about that over the middle linebacker. Michael Vick. Cornerback Michael Vick. Now, the thing with this, I don't need halfback Vick because I have Barry. Cornerback Michael Vick is going to get beat if he's by himself. If he's by himself and you don't have, like, the only way to make this Vick obsolete, this Vick is cra crazy, is to have the John Madden coach, and you have to have, like, tier 10 or tier 12 um, Falcons, or you have to have like the tier 12 Falcons and Tyron Matthew. So either way, you have to have bread to make this Mike Vick uh, great. That's the trick. Right now, the meta is zone. This Michael Vick is going to be nice, nasty when the meta switches to man. You understand? And it's going too late in the mirror. The meta is going to switch from zone to man when, when a lot of corners with high man comes out where they can then stick to people like glue. They, they'll run the routes for the right receiver. Trust me, watch. It's going to happen. So... This Michael Vick was then to get him because you get all of them nat once you do the uh, bow, right? You get all of them back nat. So you have to choose one of them. I would choose the Michael Vick. Also, I'll, I'll explain on stream. If I were, if somebody's killing me with a table route, right? They're in, they're in fucking gun tray or whatever, and they're doing levels. Say they do levels. Everybody loves levels, right? And they just taking what they can get. And they just dumping it off to the table route. Barry Sanders, table route. Barry Sanders, table route. Table route, table route. I can then put Vic in the, the nickel. Flip the play to whatever the, the uh, weak side is where the table's going to run. Man Vic up. Because everybody's going to think, I'm going to send him a couple times. I'm going to send Vic on some Tampa 2 shit like everybody in their mother has been running. Send him. He might get in once or twice. But he, then the table route's going to be there. All this other stuff. I'm going to lull him to sleep. Put Vic, man him up with Barry. He better stick Barry like glue. He better stick with 95 man, 94 speed. He should be able to keep up with wherever Barry's going. You understand what I'm saying? That happens. Gimme. That ball should be his. We go another way for six if he throws that table, if he gets lulled to sleep. So that's why I like these, uh, that Vic 
over the halfback Vic. I can't do nothing with the halfback Vic because he's going to fumble. Trust me, you're going to start seeing people complain about Michael Vick because they're going to get the halfback one and they're going to sell their Barry Sanders. And then after they do that, they're going to find out that Michael Vick is fucking coughing the ball up every damn time he gets hit. I'm not dealing with it. I don't. I want no parts. Let's get to this Bo Jackson, though. Bo Jackson is so, so good. So good. Every Bo Jackson is great. Every Bo Jackson is great. Let's go look at... Go to Elite... And then we're going to go to out of position. Zero chill. Oop cards. As you see, Bo Jackson's at all, all type for different positions. I would go with kicker Bo Jackson. He now allows kickers are look 92 kick power. That's all you've done. So you can kick fucking 60 yard kicks with ease. Now, now you have your kicker that was so elusive and so pricey before. Also with that. You can also fake. Fakes are now a thing. Fakes are now a thing. In weekend league, if I'm playing a game that's I'm trying to win, I'm trying to sweat, I'm never trying to return a kick. I'm coming out in safe whenever I see Bo Jackson. You see Bo Jackson there the first time, you might you might fall victim to it. But every other time, you want to come out safe because there's so much stuff that this Bo can do to hurt you. This Bo can kill you. So I'm not, I'm not chancing it. So I'm going to just come out in safe. I'm going to take the punt. At whatever yards, or I'm gonna play for the 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 kick. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna play for keep him the three. Um, you have left in Bo Jackson. Oh, let's go with right, right in Bo Jackson. Look how dirty this Bo looks, bruh. 91 speed, 92 hit power, 90 strength, 89 block shed, 91 tackle, and all of his all of his drinks are juiced. Like you can't go wrong with the Bo Jackson. The one I'm leaning towards, though, I'm leaning towards either strong safety bow, which is right here. I just love it. 91 zone, 92 pursuit, 90 play rec, 91 speed, 91 hit power. Like, I'm leaning towards this bow, or what I'm going to end up doing is having my user be Bo Jackson. I'm just going to use her with bow. I pick the ball off. I'm gone, baby. I'm going in for six, baby. You can't stop me. I'm getting jiggy with it. You hear what I'm saying? 91 speed. I can now sell Ryan Shazier. I was doing some freaky things with Ryan Shazier, but he doesn't compare to this Bo Jackson. I would then have the computer using Ray Lewis, and I would have myself as Bo fucking Jackson going ape shit on niggas. I'm smacking their brains out. 92 hit power. 85 zone. Not worried about zone because I'm using them. I got 89 block shed 91 pursuit 91 tackle 91 speed oh lord sweet james i love it and he got unfakeable he has unfakeable but even if i want even if i wanted to let bo do his thing right bo you got 90 zone you got 80 87 85 uh 85 zone and 90 awareness you could do your thing get freaky you know what i mean i could go drop back to julio oh yeah because that's free safety julio too and it's going to be, <laughs> I heard Calvin's making a return. Salute to Addy Cards. I heard free safety Calvin is making a return. We shall see. But I heard free safety Calvin is making a return. And if that happens, you know how glitchy he gets down with free safety. So don't get free safety, Bo. Don't get any of these other free safety drinks because free safety Calvin. You should get free safety Julio right now. Until free safety Calvin comes out, you can stash Julio and at the, at the two spot in your depth chart. Then once you want to use him, you can sub him in. Bruh, it's lovely. It's 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 beautiful. The the possibilities are endless. I don't want to I don't want to talk your head off and make it too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna wrap this up right here. And I'm gonna give you another part of the video for more things. And I'm gonna show you guys the finesse because we already found a jig in uh, the stream this morning. Twitch.tv slash Boogie Online, gonna be live every day. Tune in. The thing, the jig is beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and upload another video to show you guys how you can take advantage of this promo and how you can get some coins in your pocket and try to help you fulfill these sets. Also, also, gifts. Y'all know I had to do it. Gifts. We're gonna be breaking down gifts as they come. As information comes, I'm going to be giving it to you guys. I'm going to let you know what we think gifts are. Um, <clears throat> if, if, if something happens, I will still be letting you guys know what gifts are. You feel me? 
But st stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed the content. Hope you hope you like the breakdown of what I think we should go, the direction you should go. I think it's worth it to do Bo Jackson because if you complete Bo Jackson and you sell him back, you get all those players, and then you lose like what 500k, but you get you gain so many players because you can sell Bo at five, at a million and then buy Bo back, or you can sell all your bows and recoup your whole investment and have a bunch of nat. Um, out of position players. I love how they're doing this nat once you complete a set because before we would complete sets and those cards are gone forever Now that you get the cards back they help you Fulfill like fill your team out and boost that little level of, of when us the grinders the no, hashtag no money spent those that don't really pull a lot of packs You know we could we, we take what we can get and Thankfully EA this year is giving back to us and helping us. You know what I mean along the way. I appreciate that so, until next time, man, stay tuned, stay sucker free, hit that like button if you like the content, if you enjoyed the content, please leave messages, leave comments, I appreciate your comments, I appreciate y'all leaving love and showing that you actually like these content breakdowns, I'm gonna keep giving them to you, you want it, baby, I got you, boy, well, I got you, I'm gonna keep feeding you, baby, so, until next time, man, stay dope, we out.